I'm excited to welcome two-time AJGA Invitational Champion and Rolex Junior Player of the Year, one of my best friends from Great Falls, Virginia, Kelly Chin. Thanks, Jackson. Uh, this is a true honor to be here. Um, you know, obviously, as the first Virginian to win the award, it's really special to me, but also just all the great names on the award. It's, it's really an honor for me to win this award and be here right now. Before we get started, I'm told that we have a special guest with a message for you. Hey y'all, it's Jordan Spieth here. I wanted to congratulate Kelly Chin as a 2020 Rolex Boys Player of the Year. What an incredible achievement. I want to talk about AJGA, how important uh, they were in the growth, not only as a golfer for me, but as an individual as well. And I uh, wouldn't be where I am today without the AJGA. And Rolex's support of AJGA in making um, these events and these awards possible. Sorry that uh, this year, it obviously it all has to be virtual, but we look forward to seeing you guys out on the course in professional golf uh, pretty soon. Kelly, take us back to this night in 2019. What was on your mind? I remember, you know, during the banquet, listening to Maxwell's speech, I just remember being really inspired with what he said. I remember going into that, the Tournament of Champions with a lot of motivation. I was determined to, to go out and win, and I think that really helped me start the year on a good note and obviously lead to a lot of my goals. As you mentioned, you won the first event of the 2020 season at the 2019 Rolex Tournament of Champions. You closed with a win at the Ping Invitational. You were runner-up at the Junior Players Championship at TBC Sawgrass, and you had two other top junior finishes. You won top amateur events, and you played in the U.S. Amateur. What most stands out to you? Uh, I think my uh, ability to compete every single week, have a chance to win, was something that stood out to me. We all play to compete. That thrill in those last few holes is, is really awesome. It's a great feeling. Um, an example is at junior players. I didn't end up winning, but you know, that was just really thrilling for me to, to go out there and, and try to hit every shot perfectly. Just to be able to do that every single week was, was really fun for me. Through a wildly successful season, what did you most learn about yourself and your game? Uh, definitely my mindset. Every week I, I came in with a different mindset to try to be more confident and just believe that you know, I have the ability to go out and win. And uh, I think that sort of mindset really helped me be as successful as I was and uh, just a huge part of, of reaching my goals. What do you remember about your start with the AJGA? Uh, well, obviously, um, you know, I think we all know it's that grind out for stars. I think we've all gone through that. Um, but, you know, I've also had some, some bumpy roads as well. It was, I think, a few years ago. Uh, it was my first Open, and I missed my tee time. I switched them, and it was just not, not a great, great way to start my Open career. It turned out to be okay. It's crazy how far you've come. What is your best advice, especially to other junior golfers who look up to you? I'd say just to believe, you know, I talked about earlier about the self-confidence that I had, especially this year. Two years ago, I didn't think I'd, I'd be where I was. And so I would just say to all those juniors, just to set goals and work towards those goals. Be the next Rolex Junior Player of the Year because you all have the talent, all have the ability, and it's just about your commitment and hard work. And I really think that one of you guys will be able to do it. How do you feel about the AJGA and how they've best prepared you for the next level? They've done an amazing job. Obviously, um, the competition out here is unreal. You know, all these guys, you know, the top guys are going to be the top guys in college. And I think the courses that we play are well suited for, for what college golf is going to show us. This week at PJ National, Honda Classic is there. Just being able to play those courses is, is a great privilege. Congrats on just signing with Duke. That's, uh, that's really awesome. What are your goals looking, at, looking ahead? You know, just to get better. You know, obviously, uh, college golf's around the corner. Um, so, you know, just to be just as successful there as I was in junior golf. Uh, I'd say one specific goal that I'm looking towards for 2021 is to win a major amateur event or a college event. I think that's a realistic goal, but um, something that I can definitely reach towards. So I'm really looking forward to the excitement and the grind out there. Kelly? Enjoyed talking to you. Uh, looking forward to competing against you in the near future. Yep, thank you. This was fun.